Glass is one of the most important materials that when created the right way can really enhance the look of our renders. And though it is now really easy to create in Unreal Engine, most ignore it. In this tutorial, I'm gonna go over creating a glass that looks the best when using with Path Tracer. As you can see, I've created two Glass Master materials. They're exactly the same, except that one of them has the thin translucent material node and one of them has the absorption color material node. Right now, absorption color only works in default lit shading model and the path tracing view mode so we can't have it in the same material as the thin translucent shading mode i'm gonna use the one with the absorption color node for path tracer let me open the material it is a very simple material as you can see. Achieving physically accurate results with Path Tracer only requires a few values and parameters. I've added some controls for my roughness and normal texture and some global UV controls too. I've also added the absorption medium node to control the absorption color. Keep in mind that it only works with Path Tracer. On the left, blend mode is set to translucent. Shading model is set to default lit. Let's uh, scroll down a little. The lighting mode is set to surface forward shading. This is the most accurate translucent lighting method and also the most expensive one so you can pause the screen and create the same material as me or you can download my glass master materials from the link in the description while there you can also download my other free assets like my master material my landscape material alpha brushes and more also subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new unreal engine tutorials i'm planning to put here okay after downloading the zip file, extract it, then copy everything from the content folder to the content folder of your project. In my case, I've already copied the files, so I'll skip it. Then go to Hojdi Materials Masters. Here you can find the Glass Master Materials. Right click on the one that has absorption color in its name and select Create Material Instance. Let's move it to the test folder. Open a level to test the material on an object. Add a sphere to the scene. Set the view mode to path tracing. Assign the material to the sphere. And and that's all you gotta do. The path tracing glass looks great just out of the box. Now you can play with the parameters to achieve the desired look you want. But first, let's go over path tracing control parameters in the post process volume. Add a post process volume to your scene. In the details panel, go to post process volume settings and enable infinite extent. Now it affects the whole world, regardless of if we're inside the actual volume or not. After that, go to rendering features, path tracing. Max bounces controls how many indirect bounces we get. So if I set it to one, it won't look like glass. Two makes it a little bit better. Three, a little bit better. And 10 looks good. It's different depending on the complexity of the model and how light bounces inside of it. But when working with translucent materials, you need enough bounces to render them correctly. Samples per pixel controls how many samples it uses to render the frame. The default value is high. I'm gonna set it to 100 for this tutorial. Notice that because the denoiser is enabled, after the progress bar reaches the end, it denoises the render. The denoiser is pretty aggressive. We may lose some of the details in our scene when using it. So make sure to use enough samples in the final render. If you can't see the path tracer progress bar, use this console command. R dot path tracing dot progress display one i'll put it in the description below the rest of the parameters i'll explain in a future video dedicated to path tracer now let's open the material and go over its parameters IOR or index of refraction controls how light bends through a transparent medium. For example, if I change it to 1, you'll see that there is no change in what we see through the glass sphere. IOR of typical glass is 1.52. I'll put the link to refraction page on the Unreal Engine documentation in the description. So let's change the IOR back to 1.52. Increase the opacity a little bit and you can see the change in the glass when you change the base color. You can also use the specular and metallic parameters to control the reflection on the glass. Let's reset all the parameters to their default value. Here in the roughness section, increase the roughness intensity to half frosted glass. Add a cube to the scene. Scale it in one axis. Assign the glass material to it. Activate the roughness texture parameter. Assign a roughness texture. And now you can create a dirty glass just like that by playing around with the roughness parameters. If I set roughness intensity to zero, it becomes a normal clean glass. Zero cancels out all the other options. And as we increase it, and my editor just crashed.
Okay, and as we increase it, we can see the roughness texture more, and the glass becomes more frosted. 0.5 is a good value. Roughness power affects the contrast of the roughness texture. As we increase it, the contrast in the texture increases. As a result, the dirt parts become more pronounced, while the other parts become clearer. In contrast to when we decrease it, that results in a frosted look in places with no dirt. I'll set it to 1.2 for now. Roughness texture amount controls the opacity of the roughness texture. So if I decrease it, you can see that its effect becomes less and as I increase it its effect becomes more before moving on to the normal parameters I want to mention that the link to my other socials is in the description follow me and you can ask me if you have any questions regarding Unreal Engine also if you create anything watching my tutorials or using my free assets don't forget to tag me on your post I'll be happy to see them okay so activate the normal texture parameter assign a normal texture you can also control the strength of the normal texture with the normal strength parameter you can control the color of the transmission through the glass with the absorption color parameters this feature is only available for the path tracer set the color you want with absorption color absorption distance controls the intensity of the effect if we increase the distance the effect will be weaker absorption color has a more noticeable effect on thicker objects that's why its effect on the sphere and the thin flat glass is different keep in mind that values close to 1 in the absorption color won't demonstrate absorption you're gonna need a lower absorption distance to see their effect you might wonder what is the difference between absorption color and base color why do we use absorption color when we have the base color i'm gonna show you with an example let's copy the material and assign it to the other sphere we set the absorption color parameters and change the base color in this one like this first of all we're gonna need to increase the opacity in order to see the effect and even after that it won't look that good and if we look at the shadow area we'll see that it doesn't have any effect on the shadow while if we look at the one with the absorption color we're gonna see that not only it has a better visual quality it is affecting the color of the shadow so in the case of creating colored glass absorption color is a better choice you can also use them both together and see what the result will look like up here we have the global uv parameters and what they do is control the uv of all the textures so i can change the size of the roughness and normal textures move them with the offset parameter and rotate them with the rotation parameter but what if i want to control the uv of the roughness or the normal texture individually on the top of the roughness and the normal section we have the use roughness uv and the use normal uv parameters and if we enable them we can see that we'll have a set of uv parameters specific to that section so for example with these ones i can control the location rotation and size of the roughness texture only without it affecting the normal texture and with these ones i'll be able to control the normal texture uv without affecting the roughness texture so that's it for this video thanks everyone so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope it's been helpful make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new tutorials i'm planning to put here if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to leave them in the comment section below now with all of that being said i'll see you in the next one